I well, I have such gallows humor. I just you know, when life is good, it's funny, and when life is terrifying, it's really funny. Totally agree. I want to ask about the Bataclan. I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meaning, I'd, I'd rather you know, there are some things that are just hard to. Yeah. And and I also think too, it's it's um, there are some things that I've I have learned that there are some things that when I talk about, it doesn't make it better. It's just, um, and so I choose not to talk about those things because they just are that bad. Yes, I bet you understand that the Bataclan is never going to be funny to you. Hey. And it's never going to be, It's it would take a real specific hand to, you know what I mean? When you go to reach out for to shake someone's hand that survived and they don't have one, it's hard to understand, you know. Um, I, I've always been the sort of guy that's like, someone's in a wheelchair. I'm like, what's up with the chair? How did how did this? Right. I don't I don't like to leave this bu- this elephant in the bubble. Yeah. But then when you hear the story and uh, and you and you know there are some things where words fail to to exercise the difficulty out of. And words do their best to try to get close to that emotional feeling, but they just don't quite make it. The thing that I'm experiencing right now is I have a joke about the body clock mm-hmm. that you've seen, whether you realize it or not. I have seen it. So ISIS has gone after a rock club in Paris and they've gone after a gay club in Orlando. So I don't I just mention it in the setup. Yeah. Yeah. And it's but I'm okay with that. Right. Too. It's yeah. incredibly personal to you. Yeah. yeah. And it's to me, it's a piece of new you know, I mean, obviously, but, well, like I watched but, the documentary and like I'm pretty well versed in it. And Jimmy Carr and I have talked about it a lot and like but love Jimmy, by the way. Yes, yeah, he's the best. But 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 what I think is where many folks go wrong, in my opinion, is that you have to tell that joke. And I have and and I know how I feel about it. There's nothing that can change that. Right. My feelings about it are remain unaffected by jokes for, against, with, about. Uh, it's the that's that's what I already have. Yeah. And and I already have that experience, you know. And so it's like, I when people get offended, I'm I always think to myself, oh my god, you're such a precious motherfucker, because everything else they've talked about, someone has talked about, didn't bother you. You're okay to laugh for that. And then someone, someone William tells you and splits the arrow with the arrow, and now you're like, "What the fuck? Yeah, how dare you?" And, and that's a bit of arrogance in the outrage because it's also, also just bi- people fucking have giant. But also, blind you're spots. you're free to leave. You well, know? yes, it's one I, of the last freedoms. For me, it's one of America's great freedoms: the freedom right. to split. Yeah, right. That no one seems to be able to touch. I'm going, and it's like, good. Yeah, let me okay, grab your I... bag, motherfucker. Yeah. I, you know, uh, it's the it's the older you get the more you realize like not being near something it's critical is the, for gr- <laughs> one of the greatest gifts i, I don't want to say it's life's greatest gift but it's up there <laughs> being able to extricate yourself from things because your brain will stop thinking about it you will stop experiencing it emotionally it's one of the a magic byproducts trick. of leaving it's right. a fucking magic trick <laughs> right get the fuck out of there yeah it's, it's, that people yeah. don't realize like oh you don't like a person or a relationship or a situation or a smell or whatever go away from it yeah well i just can't but but for me it's whoa excuse i can't imagine saying i don't want to hear about this and also, I need the entire conversation of everyone else about it to stop. That's yes. the part I don't get. Where it's like, I'm upset, and this has got to stop around me, although I'm not leaving, so everyone's got to get involved with my exact wishes. That It just seems like an arrogant throw that's always really annoyed me. It's and, also, and I think, frankly, it, it makes me want to go at someone more in, in that course. moment. You know? uh, it's the world's unfathomably large and that people talk about like you have main character syndrome or whatever we all have main character it's it's the situation where i can only see it from these two eyes from this yeah, what the, fucking choice do you have yeah so but because you, you can't believe that there's this many experiences you just it's like when people go do you see your spotify stats you know people spent uh, 400 million hours listening to Queens of the Stone Age, and you're like, oh. that means nothing to me. Yeah. yeah. That means fucking nothing to me. And the same thing with, 
I can't believe that my point of view isn't everyone's and it isn't incredibly important to yeah, everyone. Yeah, get started with mine too. It's the actual call to action about it too that's <laughs> worse. Yeah. You know? Like, hello, people. Let's get started. I'm offended. Let's get yeah. to work. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.